Hey, welcome back to Feral Art. How you doing? Mm. This is the Feral Art Father's Day edition. Um, as most of you know, my dad passed away this last December. So this is my first Father's Day without him since I was 27. Um, so... Mina suggested that I do a painting in his honor to memorialize his existence on this earth. So I thought that was a pretty good idea. So I've picked out all of his favorite colors. I have golden, uh, quinacridone, burnt orange, which has a little bit of uh, TLP Horizon in it. I have Pebeo Studios Iridescent Silver to stand in for gray because gray is not pretty. I have Amsterdam Lamp Black. I have Amsterdam Titanium White. And I have Lucas Krill Studios Cyan Blue. So let's get down on the canvas and see what we can do with them. So today we have 18 by 24 canvas. Um, I've made a couple of tape dams for the sides. For an 18 by 24 inch canvas, I need about 15 and a half ounces of paint. Um, I have this 32 ounce split cut from the paint pour store which is a little big, but the next one down that I have is too small. So we're gonna use this one. We're just gonna fill it up about halfway. So I'm gonna put this orange on the outside. I'm going to put the blue on the other outside and I'm going to put silver next. this all perfectly centered. I'm going to move back over here and pour into, I have some gold mixed up over here for another project that I keep poaching. I'm just going to thin that down a little bit.
gonna swipe it. I'm gonna swipe with white. So we have our white. This is our um, Australian Floetrol, three to one with um, Amsterdam Titanium White. And then I'm gonna take this Boom Gel in Willy Wagtail Black, and I'm just gonna give it a little bit of that. And we'll see what happens. thing for a minute let the colors all dance together and then I'm going to take a smaller palette knife and do the same thing white I'm gonna thin it down this is my leftover white from my pour I'm gonna thin it down towards the middle.
definitely my daddy's colors. He did love his gray and orange and blue and whatnot. I remember when I first started painting, he said, Kelly, you need to make me a painting with orange and blue and gray. And I went, huh, what? And it freaked me out because I was like, orange doesn't go well with anything. And this one is pretty indicative of you know, the relationship that I had with my dad. Um, we weren't very well acquainted until I was in my late twenties. And, uh, you know, you have life is this big spirally thing and things come along and they wreck it and they mess it up. And, uh, it turns out beautiful, you know, usually sometimes. And so, uh, yeah, Billy St. Owell, you crazy man, I miss you and I love you. Here are the wet results of my memorial to my dad. Um, I think it came out kind of cool. Um, uh, it's certainly not like most of the other things that I paint. Um, I do enjoy this lacing quite a bit. <laughs> there are some pretty hard edges, but... That was pretty much my dad. A man full of hard edges and big opinions and big thoughts. So, not that you've asked, but here's my advice for Father's Day. Also goes for Mother's Day. Any other day. I always thought it was kind of weird and sentimental when people would say, You're going to miss them when they're gone. You should celebrate with them while they are here. You know, once they're gone, y'all, they're gone. So if, if you can, and if you are in a way to celebrate with your parents, please do. Please try to find the time. And if you're not, celebrate with your friends. You know, all of our family is not necessarily blood. And with those words, I will leave you and be back with some uh, dried results. And because this is what we do, there is some shimmer in here that came up from the gold and probably maybe from the silver. I don't ever find silver to be very shimmery, but we've got some little gold cells that popped up. And we've got some areas that are shimmery. Not... Not up to our usual shimmer standards, but this one wasn't made with shimmer in mind. Although, look at that. That's the probably um, a great amount of this is from the horizon that I snuck into my burnt orange. Look at that. Wow, wow. So pretty. So yeah, I think this one's going to dry well. It's sort of a... I kind of see it as a niche painting. You know, it means something to me. I think she's nice. A nice memorial to Billy St. Owell. Hmm. Hmm. There's some shimmer in there, too. So there you go. I'll be back with dried results.
And here are my fairly dry results from my Mr. St. O. Well pour. Um, I think it turned out pretty cool. You can see the silver in there. You can see the gold that popped through. These lacing bits are kind of great. Um, I really like the colors. And my daddy would have been over the moon about the colors. Um, I think it turned out very well. I like it. It's very different for me. Very different for me indeed. Um, but... That being said, I think it's pretty cool. I love those red cells or orange cells in there. And I really do like the way that the lacing displayed itself. And I like the way that the, the whole disruption thing just works for this one. So, this one's for you, Daddy-O. Y'all have a good rest of your weekend. And thanks for hanging out with me and always sticking by me. I'll see y'all soon.